Hello friends, welcome to this video and in this whole video we are going to talk about the shell code. So in this video we are going to build our first shell code. It is going to be a simple shell code. So let's uh, revise the shell code. A shell code is defined as a set of instructions injected and then executed by an exploited program. Shell code is generally used to manipulate register and a function of a program. So it is generally written in assembler assembly not assembler and translated into hexadecimal op code so our final product the shell code is are those op codes and those are then executed uh, by the ex executed by the exploited program <laughs> and syscalls are a very extremely powerful set of functions that will allow us to access operating system and these syscalls are very useful in a, a designing an efficient uh, shell code so if you haven't watched my syscall video then click on the i i icon appearing to watch that video that will contain the demonstration of a shell code in c and assembly basically uh, linux uh, syscalls so let's uh, move to the demonstration so this uh, shell code is going to the exit shell code an exit shell code is simple shell code which just exit the program normally now let's move to our code include all our header files in this program require two header files the standard input output and the standard library type then int main void exit 0 so exit syscall has an syscall number 1 and the argument 0 here refers to the exit with success then return 1 and then 0 so this is a simple program now let's compile it so we are going to compile it in 32 bit mode uh, gcc m32 static shell code output exit shell code so here statics uh, we use static to prevent dynamic linking which preserve our sys code now let's uh, execute sys code exit shell code so you can see in thing is printed no error no warning just a program exit exited successfully so now we are going to use uh, the gdb gdb this is exit shell code. Now let this assemble. The exit. So you can see we have a interrupt uh, call layer and we have the exit. As you can see, uh, 0x1 is moving into ex register. So which shows us that uh, the exit syscall is executed here and we can also have an instruction that loads the argument to our exit exit syscall into ebx the argument was pushed onto the stack previously and as a value 0 so now uh, we have got <laughs> the assembly of our c code now we are going to build uh, that shell code in assembly So, uh, so one of the thing we need to know is we need to make our shell code as compact as possible to fit it into small input areas. So we first uh, we just uh, design a simple shell code. Let's do it. ASM. section text global start start so these are exits this code with the only one argument so move 
dx zero not zero but one need to move evx with zero and internal zero x is zero so this is a simple program now it's time to compile and link it nasm format elf executable and linkable format 32 file name asm exit shellcode dot asm good compile now it's time to link it dash m e l f i 386 then output should be asm exit shellcode now asm shellcode dot o so link without any memory now let's run it so as you can see the same result again now let's uh, use the opinum to get the hex code O D O D J D U M P then so you can see the shell code now this is the shell code we are going to use now let's copy these code files now let's uh, use this program again <coughs> because we do not need it DB X. I'll just check it out. It's not DB. It's B eight zero one zero zero. B eight zero one. Let's do one thing. Let me make this file small so that we can see both the screens and then I will write the code. Then x zero zero x zero zero x zero 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 so three time x and two time this i will write now next maybe take the number x db x now four times zero 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 zero, zero. Zero zero. So this line also completed. X C D X eight zero. So this is our simple shell code, simple exit shell code. Int pointer return let let is equals to int Two plus two. Let's write I T equal to int shell code. So now let's do one thing. GCC F N O stack P R O P E C T to make it so that two are protected that e x e c s t is equal stack exit dot c output should be exit shell code so we have an arrow oh, i have written chat in place of cat just simple error oh i haven't terminated also So it's showing so let's do one thing just make it all at the same just bring it in the same line so that we doesn't get any error. Again error. Oh error is again so 
so pencil now exit shell code so simple shell code always remember one thing in shell code when you are designing a shell code just there are something called bad characters and then 0x00 that is null character is one of them in C null character basically refer to the termination of the string so you can see we have whole lot of 0 0 0 0 0 uh, so we just need to reduce them let's again go to our assembly code so here you can see we have we are just directly putting a 0 here and this 0 is not good for the health of our shell code so we have another idea we can just use zor in place of this just uh, do it like this zor tbx tbx if you have studied a zor gate then you can see if a zor gate have the same input both the uh, inputs are same then uh, the result will be zero and if both the inputs are different then result will be one and you can see here we are moving the value eax value 1 to register ex so ex is a 32 bit register which can be broken down into ax and ax can further be broken down into 16 bit 16 bit ax and then it can be further broken down into ah and al so directly indirectly the value is going to move in the al the first part of the register so uh, instead of doing just e uh, ax you can just do a move al with value 1 so this is also the same now we are going to compile our program then link it same procedure and then obj dump b asm exit shell code so this time you can see we have just just uh, so small shell code you can just use this again Just need to chop these uh, four zeros, then modify it to C1 DB and then CD80. So just remove these extras. So let's check it again 0x B0, 0, 01, 31, BB, CD. Eight zero. So, this is that shell code only, but with uh, so compact and so efficient because it does not have any null character. Now let's compile our C program. Exit shell code. So you can see, basically, it doesn't show any the difference because it doesn't do anything. Just exit the program, and a normal program will also exit it. So no difference but I know practically it is not of any use but it's only a demonstration for the beginners and again uh, in the in building uh, the real life practical useful shell code we are going to use this but in place of just exiting a program we are going to do other tasks like a, getting a shell or writing something into the uh, system so these tasks so the basic uh, skeleton of a shell code uh, the basic procedure means is this write a program in c language and uh, in, in c language which we want to execute on that system then compile it and using a gdb uh, you can get the assembly code and you can get the idea what is the assembly code you can if you want to write an assembly you can write it assembly or you can um, then uh, get its hex code hex op code then uses uh, then use those uh, hex op codes in the exploited program and then uh, your shell code will be running successfully so that's a simple procedure and that's and this is a simple demonstration of the sh a shell code how to make your own shell code so thank you 
if you like this video hit the like button and if you have any query then please comment below and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you have a nice day